for me, my the the best biggest contribution that I can make as an animal advocate is by amplifying this pro animal content and getting people to think about animals differently and to raise awareness about the ways in which animals are being abused around the globe and uh, and behind the closed doors of factory farms and slaughterhouses. And so that is where I feel like I can make the biggest difference. If I can go to sleep knowing that a few hundred or a few thousand or a few 10,000 people that day are now aware of the cruelty that chickens, pigs, cows, fish experience on their way to people's plates, the more impact that I feel like I can make. So I've taken that same uh, mindset I had when I used to hand out leaflets um, where I knew that if I handed out a thousand in a day, that was way better than handing out a hundred. So with social media, I know that if a thousand people see a post instead of a hundred, that is 10 times as much impact. And for me, that is my big goal. And my goal is always to reach as many people as possible. And so I purposely um, select content that I think is going to get the biggest amount of views and engagement and to make the biggest impact on people. And this has really come after many, many years of doing social media advocacy. I've been doing full-time social media advocacy for about 11 years now. And so I've sort of developed a sense of what kind of content is going to perform well and be impactful. And of course, it's not always a success. Um, just like with everything in life, there are you know failures along the way that I learned from. And I try to be as, as impactful as I can on a daily basis with using social media. And you know, of course, 